Hi, I'm Pilar Kuhn, and this is Podcast, Pilar in the World of Dogs. And today, I'm going to talk about the importance of microchipping your dog, as well as how to do it. So here on the table, we have a box of ISO microchips. This type of microchip is actually excellent for use here in the United States, as well as out of the country. And we buy our microchips in bulk because Sometimes we have a litter of puppies, and we think it's really important to send those puppies home with microchips before they go to their new families. Why? It's very unfortunate, but purebred dog thefts are on the rise. And actually, not just purebred dogs. Most dog thefts are on the rise. People are stealing dogs, flipping them, meaning that they will post online that they have a dog that they have to sell, and they'll sell them to somebody else, and uh, your dog's gone. If you lose your dog, you know, and someone picks it up and deliver, drops it off at a shelter, a shelter can scan your dog. They got the information in the computer system and they'll give you a phone call and say, hey, we, we found your dog. Yes, it's one of the best reasons why you should have your dog microchipped is not just in case your dog gets stolen, but in case your dog gets out running loose, somebody picks it up, turns it into a shelter, or animal control picks it up. So the importance of microchipping your dog is so that in case anything like that happens, most veterinary practices now are scanning for chips to make sure that that information comes up. So we actually get our microchips from the American Kennel Club, the AKC, and we have our chips registered with their companion animal recovery program called CARE. So what happens is that when you get a microchip, it comes in a lance like this, and it has a sharp needle, and the microchip is down there. We're going to show you in just a little bit how we actually put a microchip inside one of our dogs. And they have barcodes on the back. These barcodes apply to the dog itself, the number, but it also goes inside the information that you send back to the AKC as well as your own records so that they have a record of it. All right, Chicory, are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna put her in the grooming noose so she can't squirm off the table. There you go. And we're going to open up this. It's never been used. Doo, 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 doo. And I'm going to have Rod do the honors. So he's going to take the cap off of the lance. And we're going to put it inside the, in between her shoulder blades. And these chips are known for not migrating. So some chips previously in years past might migrate down to like an elbow or down a leg or around. These are known for staying right in the center of their, of their shoulder blades. So it might sting. It, yeah, it's a pretty big needle, so it's gonna hurt her. You got a hold of her? I got a hold of her. Okay. And just push, push it push in. Push it in. The plunger and then Pull it out. And massage. And you see the chip is off the end of the, the plunger. And you have to massage that area there, help work it into the skin, make sure that it doesn't come back out. She was actually really good. She was excellent. And then we've now microchipped our puppy. And we will now take the barcode on the back. And I'm going to put it here in our records. We'll have it here, and we'll also send it in over here. We'll fill in out all the rest of the information so that in case anything ever happens to this puppy, they'll know to call us and we can get her back. Thank you, honey, for your, for your assistance, welcome. for pulling an assist. Now, if my puppy ever gets lost, I don't have to worry about someone finding her. That's right. So I'm Pilar Kuhn, and this is Podcast.